We all know that Sora is going to be rocking some new clothes in Kingdom Hearts 3, but the question and the theory that I want to pose to you all today is how and why Sora is getting these new clothes. Hey guys, it's HMK once again. This video will contain spoilers from Kingdom Hearts 0.2 and will elaborate on what we gathered from the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 3, so you've been warned. First off, let's talk a little bit about Sora's clothes in Kingdom Hearts 2. His iconic black attire that was given to him by the three good fairies at Yen Sid's castle, partly due to Sora outgrowing his previous clothing in the year-long sleep, but the main reason was to assist Sora on his journey by helping him access powers otherwise dormant through the use of drive. Now that we understand the origin of the Kingdom Hearts 2 clothing, perhaps we can use this history to help apply where Sora will get his new duds in Kingdom Hearts 3. Now onto the good part. At the end of 0.2, it is revealed that Sora's previous tangle with Xehanort in Dream Job Distance not only resulted in him failing the Mark of Mastery exam, but also stripped Sora of most of his power he had gained by then. And in order to regain his lost strength, he should consult someone who was in the same boat. That's right, Hercules at Olympus Coliseum. In Kingdom Hearts 2, Hercules had his strength waning throughout the game due to him forgetting what it means to be a true hero. Although this seems a little in line with what he went through originally in his movie, in the film Hercules, the hero loses his strength completely due to a deal he struck with Hades in order to ensure Meg's safety. However, this adapted angle in Kingdom Hearts 2 was already in place since the beginning of the film, where Hercules' father Zeus informed his son in order to regain his lost godhood, he would have to find out what it means to be a true hero. In the film, Hercules regained his strength when Meg was mortally wounded because it broke his deal with Hades. And then he restored his godhood when he was willing to give his life for Megs. Both of these outcomes were echoed at once in Kingdom Hearts 2. Now with that info in tow and the fact that we know that we'll be scaling Mount Olympus in Kingdom Hearts 3, I'm sure it's safe to come to the conclusion that Sora will be seeking to meet with Zeus on the recommendation of Hercules as he is the one who told Hercules the secret on regaining his lost strength. But it'll be a potentially different case with Sora, so this will be the first world to tackle in Kingdom Hearts 3 thanks to all the promotion and 0.2 apparently confirming this, which would definitely be a departure as Kingdom Hearts games usually start in an original, sometimes hub-like environment. But seeing that we're more familiar with the game setting this time around going into Kingdom Hearts 3, it doesn't seem out of the question. At first, Mount Olympus will show the basics of combats, the ins and outs of the game, and blah 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 tutorial, whatever. Sora reaches up to the top of Mount Olympus, and after, insert story here, meets with Zeus, who, if you didn't already guess it, yes, grants Sora his new clothes as a way to help him regain his power and even more. Disney characters have provided Sora with new clothes before, so it's not impossible for one as great as the mighty Zeus to grant Sora the tools he needs to regain his strength. Because let's face it, Hercules and Sora are two extremely different cases and Sora doesn't really have the time or situation to go the old sacrifice on a prayer route that Hercules did. Despite that, Zeus would know how to restore the strength of individuals case by case, because he is Zeus. But how about let's take it a step way beyond that, Zeus as a Greek god more like the Greek god, the king of gods, would know about Sora and his status as the key bearer and what the Keyblade is and capable of, thus understands the severity of the Keyblade war. In Kingdom Hearts 1, King Trion knew all about that, so we have an understanding that extremely powerful beings within certain worlds of Kingdom Hearts are extremely aware of the grand scheme of things. Council theory coming soon guys, you know, check that out. And also being that Trion is Zeus's nephew as the son of Poseidon, knowledge among the gods are more than likely shared. So to that degree, Zeus would know the inner workings of a keyblade, the heart and what is needed to help Sora restore the power and take it up a notch and do his part and assist him in the keyblade war, with that being the most he could do because he is still bound by the laws of each world not to meddle in the affairs of other worlds. And from what we gather in the trailers of Kingdom Hearts 3, it could be possible that through these clothes and the keyblade that Zeus will potentially grant Sora as it's literally him on the keyblade, Zeus would teach Sora about the basics of Keyblade transformations and possibly even attraction flow. And with the might of Zeus, these clothes would act as Sora's new evolution catalyst in Kingdom Hearts 3, just as the clothes that the good fairies gave him in Kingdom Hearts 2. But better! as we see Sora pull off some insane stuff in Kingdom Hearts 3. All of this will be a great reason to explain why Sora is once again starting off from level 1 in Kingdom Hearts 3, but attaining grand new powers way better than what he had in Kingdom Hearts 2. So there you have it, I believe that Zeus will grant Sora his new clothes in Kingdom Hearts 3. Did I convince you? How do you think Sora will get his new clothes? Let me know in the comment section below and be sure to leave a like, share, favorite, all that good jazz. Leave your thoughts, questions, and theories in the comment section below as well. And subscribe to HMK for more. Until the next Kingdom Hearts video, I've been HMK, I'll check you guys later.